Hello, this is Jill from Paper Daisy Crafting. Thank you for joining me today. Um, the card we're making today is this one, Never Nice to Make, a sympathy card. Um, not a nice task to have to do, but I think I need, I've been trying to fill up the gaps in my stash so that I've got cards for every occasion. And I really think I do need a, some sympathy cards. So that's why I'm making this today. Um, I'm using the Magnolia Blooms, um, a stamp set from the beginner catalogue and the lovely Magnolia Lane um, de um, designer series paper, the pattern papers. Um, and so I've got one of the blooms that I've um, coloured with blends here, um, the, the um, sentiment and then inside comfort and healing to you and another little magnolia. Um, so I'm going to show, I'm going to change up the colours slightly and use a different image here, basically the same card. So I'm going to start with a half A4 sheet. Um, mostly I work in metric. Um, so this is 10 and a half by 29.7 centimetres. Um, but I'm just going to use um, the inches because this is 11 and three quarters ish. Um, I'm going to use inches to just um, score this in half and it won't be exact because it's a very odd measurement 29.7 or it's 11 and 5 fifth 5 eighths of an inch but I'm going to do it at 5 and 3 quarters and then it will just there'll just be a little bit of an overhang so you might want to just trim that off so there's a little bit of an overhang there which you can actually trim off if you wanted to so I'll just bring my trimmer in and just trim that off notice I'm not using my um, stamping up trimmer which is now retired I'm back to using my guillotine my little guillotine which I find very helpful there we go um, and I'm hoping that this will still be the right yeah no that's fine that's fine right okay so I've got my card blank the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stick um, my piece and I've got a different piece of um, designer series paper the one I used on here had a black background this one's got a white background so this card is going to be a hold together a lot lighter um, so I'm just going to use a little bit of snail actually I don't often use snail but I've got a lot a lot of this and so I thought I would try using it um, and it is very easy and very mess free and if you can be sure that you can stick your things in exactly the right place the first time as it won't give you any wiggle room um, then it's fine and I've already got these pieces cut out and I'm just going to give you the dimensions in a sec let me just focus on getting this stuck down in the right place okay so the dimensions are the card mat is five and five eighths by two and three eighths inches or six centimeters by 14.2 and the DSP panel is five and a half centimeters by 13.7 centimeters or two and an eighth by five and three eighths and that is just going to go on our card there and as you can see we've got quite a nice little border all the way around there so again I'm going to come in with my snail and just use my snail there we go and stick that there okay I'm then going to stamp a sentiment put that there trying to keep all the borders equal Okay, I'm then going to come in with a sentiment and I think I haven't got a piece of car white card. Oh, here it is. Yeah, I did have a piece of white card. Here we go. Um, so I'm going to come in with my sentiment. My sentiment is with sympathy. And actually this time I'm going to be stamping in um, early espresso because where is this card? I stamped in black uh, because to match the black background. This card, the outlines are all in early espresso. So I'm going to use that for my stamping. So I'm just going to stamp with sympathy here there we go don't need to be too careful about it because we're going to punch it out I'm then coming in with the pretty label punch I'm just going to punch that out so just get that straight straight in my punch to turn it around to see what I'm doing so you can get it positioned where you think you need it and then you can punch there we go and then I'm going to take a piece of mossy meadow and I'm going to cut out just over half and then just over half again and this is going to be my border around my sentiment so I am just going to put a little bit of snail there and then line this up like so 
and then I'm going to take another little bit of snail and line that up like so and that's my sentiment I've actually got a little bit overhanging there I'm not going to worry about it too much if I'd taken a little bit more time over placement I could have avoided that but I'm just going to trim it off that's fine there we go and then that is going to go on with some dimensionals that's the wrong card blank where's the card blank I'm going to go on with some dimensionals here so let me find my dimensionals and I'm using big dimensionals so I'm trying to use these up so I'm just going to cut them in half because you don't need whole ones so just cut some in half come in with my scissors maybe four or five dimensionals on here like so and there. I might put one one more in the middle just to make sure it doesn't sag down there we go take the backings off like so and place that there and then this time I'm going to come in with the smaller image from the magnolia blooms which is this little um, like a magnolia bud I'm going to stamp it again in early espresso And then I'm going to I'm going to use blends. You need to be a little bit careful because this is not memento, so you may get a bit of bleeding. So you just need to be very careful. Ideally, I would leave it for longer to dry, but obviously I'm doing this for you, so I can't. So I'm just coming in with the light petal pink, which is the colour that I've used for my card base. There, it's petal pink and mossy meadow, which are the colours that are in the DSP that I've used. So just a little bit of pink there, the, the paler pink. And then coming in with the darker one, just at the base there. So just a little bit of colour on there. And then just coming in with the light mossy meadow to do the leaves and these little sepals, sepals, sepals. I don't know how to say that word. There we go. And so I do the whole leaf in light. Obviously it's up to you how you do it. I do the whole leaf in light and then come in with the dark. I'm actually, I usually do one side, but I'm going to do the middle in dark today. I'm going to do a line down the middle and that looks quite stark until you come back in with the light and that will then blend in. Just give you a bit of shading on your leaf, like so. There we go. Now, this is the tedious bit. I've got to fussy cut this out. And actually, I had one that I had done. What have I done with it? Because I might be able to avoid fussy cutting on camera. Here it is. So there's my, my um, bud already fussy cut. I'm sure you don't need to see. I'll do a little bit just to show you. So I just cut very close, but leaving a little white border. It does take some time. Just needs to be done a bit carefully. Um, and actually you can actually roughly cut which does make it a bit easier just roughly cut and then cut out all the details but like I say I've already got one that I've done here and that's just going to go there so I'm just going to take another dimensional another couple don't put anything too too low because this bit is going to overlap with your sentiment and otherwise it will stand too proud I'm just going to put those two on there and then, so this is a very quick and easy card actually. No trouble at all. There we go. And just put that there. And then that links up with that image quite nicely. It's very different, um, very different image to that one. And then inside you need a panel, which in centimeters measures 14 by 13.7. And that is gonna go inside to write on. It wouldn't be too bad with the pink. Um, on this one but in the dark green it would have been very difficult to write on it and actually I just think it finishes cards off quite nicely when you put a panel inside. So 
So the panel is going, just make sure you've evenly distributed it like so. And then I'm actually going to print another bud in early espresso down the bottom here and colour it in exactly the same way as I did um, the one before. So it's coming in with the light. Um, our neighbours have a magnolia tree which is absolutely glorious in the spring. And it's very similar colours to these, very almost white but with a touch of just a tint of pink on it. Really, really pretty. Um, and then the light, light mossy meadow. You won't need to do this as quickly as me. I've just gone over the edge a little bit, which is going to annoy me. So what I might do with that one, you can come in with the colour lifter and you can get rid of your errors. This is almost like a bleach. And that will reduce that down. That will disappear eventually. And then just come in with the dark again. Oh, what's happened there? Oh, never had that happen before. It's come apart. Oh, there we go. Um, just come in, do a line down the middle. And then go over with the with the pail again. So maybe you'd like to add some sympathy cards to your stash. Obviously, everything that you need to buy to make this card is in my shop, which you can um, go straight through to if you click below. There we go. There's the card we've made today, and there's the card that I made before. Um, one of these is going to be winging out of the door very very quickly um, because I want someone to send one to sadly um, but I hope you've enjoyed my project today don't forget that if you were tempted to buy anything it's a good time to buy because we've got an offer where if you spend £45 in July you get a £4.50 voucher to spend in August um, so that would be good and also we've got a really good joining offer so if your wish list is more than £99 um, you can get £155 for £99 with free shipping so that would save you quite a lot of money by joining you could join my team of paper daisies i've got lots of people that are just hobby demos don't have to run a business don't have to have a blog you don't have to make anything and show anyone you can just buy for yourself or you can just take the starter kit and leave it at that so if you'd like any more details about that just let me know if not i'll see you next time and thank you for watching bye